Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand how to pull the data from your Salesforce org and show it inside your Einstein bot based on the customer responses. But before getting started, if you really like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So in the previous video, what we did was we used an Einstein bot in order to make an update on our Salesforce record. Now in this video, we are going to take the input from an uh, take the input from the customer through the Einstein bot, and we are going to show the same details inside the Einstein bot. So right now, if you see right now at the start, first we are welcoming the end user, and then we are moving to the this is test dialog. Now inside this test dialog, we are asking question connect to an agent, view case details, or close the case. So in the previous video, we just close the case. Now in this case video, what we are going to do, we are going to work on view case details where we are going to view the end user the case details like from for an example if the customer wants to know the status of the case so we are going to provide them the status of the case exactly so we are going to work on the view case details so let's move it to that uh, first what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a rule which says that if my customer response equals view case details right if my customer responds view case details in that case i'm going to call in another dialog which is just going to show view case detail show case details let's say so this dialog is basically just going to show the details of the case so but if a customer is going to ask uh, click on view case details you also need to take the input from the end user like which case do they do want to see the details of so next question we are going to ask them please enter the case details case number and then whatever case number we are going to get it will be of type text right so it will be of type text and we are going to store it inside the variable named as case number which i have created in the previous video itself so let's save it <coughs> now that's that's done now next point what we have to do is we have to actually create a flow in order to pull the details so i'm going to do it using a flow so let's create an auto launch flow as i've already told you if you are going to call a flow from an einstein bot it must be an auto launch flow so let's create it free form and let's get records first of all get the case details and then we are going to get the case right now we are going to get it based on the case number so if case number equals to i'll create a variable named as case in os which is going to be of type text and will be available for an input now why am i making it available for input so that end user will be able to pass the value from an einstein bot to this flow so if i make it available for input any automation tool it can be apex process builder workflow anyone can pass the value to this variable as it's available for input let's click on done now based on the case number provided i will find the case and then once i found the case i am just going to store it within a variable let's name it as get case records not text it should be a record of case object so once that is done let's click on done and i exactly want the status and let's click on save so what this flow is going to do is basically is going to find the case based on the case number and whatever case that it has obtained obtained it's going to return the status and the id of the case Along with that, I'm also going to get a case number. Let's click on done. Let's click on save. Let's name it as show case in Einstein pot. Let's click on save and activate it. So I'm going to just refresh my Einstein bot so that the flow is available to me. Until this point, what I've done is first 
I'm just asking a question whether do, do they want to connect to an agent, view case detail or close the case. If they click on view case details, right, we are going to go to the show case details dialog. And inside that show case details, we are taking the case number from it. Now, once I've got the case number, and where is it? Okay, yeah, I'm going to call, going to go ahead and call a flow. That is show case in Einstein bot. Now, as I made this variable available for input, that's why I'm able to pass the value from an Einstein bot to the flow. So I'm going to pass the case number that has been provided by the end user. Oh, I did not make it available for output. So there is one more variable. I did not make it available for output. So I'm going to do it. And let's click on save as and activate. I'm again going to refresh the Einstein bot. Why I've made it available for output because I want to pass the value from the flow now to the Einstein bot. So that's why I'm going to pass this value from the flow to an Einstein bot. That's the reason why I have to make it available for output. So I'm going to call a flow showcase in Einstein bot and I'm going to pass the case number which I have obtained as an input from the end user. Now once that I've obtained it, I'm going to again create one more variable over here named as get cases record. I'm going to copy paste as well, copy, copy it as well and let's save it. So what's going to happen is that we are going to pass the case number to this variable and it's going to return as the case record, right? Whatever the case record that has, it has get, got from, in, uh, from the flow. It's going to return it over here. Now I'm going to show it inside the message. Your case number. You can uh, get particular uh, like if you want to show the details from that variables to inside your uh, Einstein board, you can just use uh, curly braces, exclamation, and whatever the variable name was. That is get cases record dot case number the API name of the API name of the field and then your case number this 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 status is again you can provide exclamation get case record dot status and just save it now using this it will actually go ahead and return you the case number and the status of the case so I have if you have already watched inside the get records I am also getting the status and the case number so that I don't get that uh, without query issue, right? So let's do it. Hi. Now let's say if I type back view case details, it's going to go ahead and ask me the number of the case. So I'm going to provide the number of the case as well. So if you see your case number, whatever the name or number of the cases and status is closed. So it's actually pulling the details from your Salesforce app and show it inside the Einstein pot. So this is how you can pull the details from an Salesforce app and show it inside your Einstein pot. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please subscribe to this channel.